a day, a day ingrained in my uh, in my memory. Six rounds in the featherweight division. Now making his way to the stage, presentando the Chichi Galpa Nicaragua. Eleven wins, eleven losses, four wins coming by the way of knockout. Please welcome El Travieso, Daniel Mendoza. Mendoza. Travieso, that's a nickname that rings a bell with uh, Jorge Arce. Uh, what a fighter Jorge Arce was, and uh, what do we expect here, Andy, from this guy? Very difficult to say. I mean, uh, short notice doesn't help anyone. Um, Daniel Mendoza yesterday, unfortunately, was described as a Mexican by Eddie Hearn. Uh, obviously, he's actually a Nicaraguan based out of Spain. Just hear what they announced here. 122.8 pounds for Mendoza. 122.8. I think he's got a tough night against Hopi Price. And the reason I say it is because Hopi Price so far has looked every bit the professional. You'll see it at the head to head, but the height difference is extraordinary between and these his two. his opponent now making his way to the stage, the highly skilled and decorated Southpaw. Undefeated thus far, 3 0, one knockout, fighting out of Leeds, Ivan Drago. Please welcome Hopi Pride. and these sort of icons at the top of the sport and how hard Ladies they have worked next contest, for what they've got. And they all look Super good, don't they? And they all division. sound good. Now making his way to the stage to weigh in. 11 victories against three defeats. Fighting out of Birmingham. Please welcome Ishmael Ellis. Ellis. Ishmael Ellis was on a job uh, as a gas engineer when he got the call from John Pegg. Do you want to jump on this Sky Sports show, the first one back of the new season, and face Dalton Smith? And he said yes straight away, so all credit to him. Absolutely. Well, the gas engineering can wait, can't they? Not often you get a, a slot on Sky Sports under the lights. pounds for Ishmael Ellis. Yeah, a real opportunity, John Pegg, one of the great guys in boxing, one of the unsung heroes. Uh, I saw you having a pretty in-depth chat with him last night. Yeah. We were talking about matchmaking, funnily enough, and that the art form that it is. And uh, with that in mind, that makes me feel a little bit better because he wouldn't take a chance for someone that he didn't think could give a good account of himself. his way to the stage, he's the best rising prospect fighting under the Steel City. Undefeated thus far, six fights, six victories, five of them coming by way of knockout. From Sheffield, England, please welcome Dalton. Thunder Smith! Smith! Six have tried and six have failed with Dalton Smith and he's got a lot of hype behind him but so far it's been totally justified. Could be the pick of the young crop from Britain this guy, Dalton Smith. I like the look of him. 142.8 pounds for Dalton Smith! Yeah, he just moves well in a ring. He's uh, 
Obviously, you've got power, level-headed, like we said, with Hopi Price, same sort of temperament. He's got a, an excellent trainer in his father, and he, he says, you know, that he's, his feet are on the ground, and he'll just, he wants to learn. He doesn't want knockover jobs. He wants, you know, he wants rounds, and I think that's the way to do it. That's the education, and there's no better advocate of that than the top of the bill in Josh Warrington. Once they've completed this head-to-head, -head, hopefully we're going to... Uh be given the opportunity to have a Dalton very Smith quick interview with Dalton Smith. Our next contest of the afternoon is Dalton Smith versus Josh Warrington. Dalton Smith is the first of the afternoon and we're going to weigh in, ladies and gentlemen. 12 rounds of boxing scheduled for the vacant British featherweight championship. Introducing the first to the stage, undefeated, 13 fights, 13 victories, six of them coming by way of knockout. He's fighting out of Doncaster, and he's the reigning English featherweight champion. Please welcome Reese Moe. Moe. What an opportunity, Andy, for this guy. What a chance. One hundred and twenty-five and three-quarter pounds for Reese Moore. Yeah, perfect. Looks in fantastic shape. Shorta Hagen, absolutely delighted there and pumped up on the scales. Reese Mould, I think he's been irritated with what Lee Wood's been saying on social media, and I think that he wants to prove himself. This is the stage. Yeah, he looks comfortable, and didn't he? And his opponent now making his way to the stage. 23 victories against two defeats. He has 13 wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Gentling Nottingham. He's the former Commonwealth and WBO European champion. Please welcome Lethal Lee Wood. Wood. Also in uh, tip top shape, isn't he, Lee? 125 and a quarter pounds. Yeah, I think he's, he settled at Featherweight. He, he fitted around a bit early part of his career, but he looks in extraordinarily good shape and with a very, very good coach by him in Ben Davidson. They both have terrific trainers. It's going to be really interesting watching the corners at work as well as we guide our way through this. 12 round fight. Pick them, really. Yeah, it'd be worth noting who's the taller here, and it is worth noting they both have got uh, pumped up trainers on. There's not much between them, though. Well, Lee's Lee Lee got new hair style, hasn't <laughs> he? <laughs> Very close to the Nottingham Brigade, the fighters Lee Wood, big mates with Carl Froch. So, Reese Mould has. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to weigh in the cheap support for Saturday night's big night of boxing action. 12 rounds in the super featherweight division. Now making his way to the stage, 41 victories, 9 defeats, 2 draws, and 29 wins coming by way of knockout. Presentando the Alicante Comunidad Valenciana España. Here is the former IBF Super Bandway champion of the world, Kiko La Sensacion de Martinez. Martinez. Made everybody feel old, didn't he, yesterday? Uh, you know what? He deserves a big applause. He's been a great credit, hasn't he, to world boxing, and especially on these shores. He's fought everybody. Carl Frampton a couple of times, Scott Quigg. Remember, way back in the day when he came over and stunned Bernard Dunn. 128 and one quarter pounds for Kiko Martinez. And still in impeccable condition at 34. You've got to take your hat off to him and his training team. Not the fighter he was, but still dangerous and dangerous early. Yeah, I think we all become experts, don't we? But I don't think anybody is going to think that Kiko Martin is Early is a bad shout. That's when he's at his most dangerous. Four victories, one defeat, 15 wins coming by way of knockout. He's the former Commonwealth and reigning IBF Intercontinental Super Featherweight Champion, fighting out of Manchester, England, Zelfa, Brown Clash Barron. And a new father. Ben
Long way. Well, Those days of the Collie Hurst and Moston and with the great Brian Hughes. Pat Barrett was a great fighter. He's got a great guy in this corner. being brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing. It'll be live from the SSC Arena Wembley here in London, England, and filmed and televised all around the world by Sky Sports and The Zone. Sponsored by Betfred, Wow Hydrate, and JD Sports. It'll be 12 rounds of boxing scheduled in the featherweight division. Introducing up first to the stage, his professional record, 21 victories against two defeats. He has 14 wins coming by way of knockout. Presentando de San Felipe de Jesus, Ciudad de Mexico. Please welcome Mauricio Bronco Lara. Yes, welcome to the matchroom bubble here, just opposite the SSC Wembley Arena. Maurizio Lara says he wants to come here, beat the number one featherweight in the world. And here he is on the scales, Adam Smith. It's a wonderful opportunity for the man from Mexico City. Terrific shape, and we saw him on the pads last night. Maurizio Lara can punch, a bit novicey. It's a huge step up in class, nothing to lose, and he's got to go for this. Looks good on the scales inside the nine stone weight limit there and he's been all smiles all week. Sometimes you look to see if, is the event, is the occasion getting to um, someone that's not been at this level so far. No evidence of that. Now he's been calm and confident all week. Good team around him. But this guy, this guy's special. 30 fights, 30 victories, seven of them coming by way of knockout. He is the first and only world boxing champion fighting out of and proudly representing his home of Leeds in the United Kingdom. Please welcome the former IBF featherweight champion of the world, Josh, the Leeds Warrior, Warrington. Warrington. <laughs> Josh, play, playing on the fact that the Leeds Warrior fans that would have packed this place out aren't here today. I love it, I love it. I've liked, I've liked Josh for many, many years since we uh, first went to do a ringside piece on him back in the day. 125 and one half pounds for Josh, the Leeds Warrior He's a great character, he's now a family man. <laughs> and he's still got all the fire, hasn't he? And the intent now to go and unify the featherweight division and really prove himself as one of the greatest fighters in the world, not just at featherweight, but this is a potential banana skin. He's been out of the ring, Andy, for 15 months. You know, he should be a league above Lara in terms of class, knowledge, ability, experience, but you never know. The crowd isn't there this time. He's back in a ring and he's got a job to do. And he is super Josh Warrington. He is super charged here, Josh Warrington. 12 rounds, featherweights. Well, he's taken this experience well, hasn't he, Lara? He's up for this. 